First of all, yard games, and I'll be honest with you, is a gateway to homosexuality, dog. It can be. Yeah. Get, hey, let's play few, right here. Get a few beers deep. You start winning. You're a boy. Start hugging. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe you made that shot. And next <laughs> year, your shirts are off. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> who skins? Yeah. We're all skins. Yeah, everybody's skins. <laughs> <laughs> gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. It's the greatest show on earth. Mm. It's scary out there. You still doing jujitsu in uh, Nashville? Yeah, man. I got a one stripe. Oh, congrats, dude. That's Thanks, a big bro. deal. You look like you moan during jujitsu. Uh, I do. I do. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> only a little man why does and, he always go ass down face up <laughs> only if the guy's handsome <laughs> yeah. oh. that's hilarious brennan looks like he has to what's that thing you have to use when you have to start your car with that blow thing oh the alcohol the breathalyzer yeah that blow starter brennan looks like he'll fucking blow start a starburst right now in that fucking shirt dude <laughs> no, this shirt looks like a blow start a bunch of dudes oh, yeah. <laughs> Brennan looks like the guy that asked you to put one hand on his belly when he farts, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude. That's crazy, dude. Brennan, Brennan looks like the kind of guy you tell him, hey, I made something for you. Put your hand on my stomach and then you fart. But he falls for it again and again every time, dude. I made something for you? What are you, 12? God, man. Yeah. Yeah, this whole fucking show is 12. This Are you kidding me? We had that chatty artist in here. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Was he on all the Adderall? What's going on that there, man? That dude's like, oh, I painted this on uh, on Adderall. He showed me some of his other art. It's just drawings of Adderall. <laughs> they described what he wants to do next. Yeah. yeah. One of them, he chiseled Adderall into pieces of stone. I'm like, this is insane. And I looked at his girl. She was like this. <laughs> yeah. One of his paintings was just draw uh he drew a bunch of words. <laughs> <laughs> He's a chatty Kathy. Usually artists aren't that chatty, man. Usually they're really silent and they wear some introverted like a cape or something, I think sometimes. Yeah, a cape, maybe some a face mask of some sort. Yeah. Bracelets, lots of bracelets. Yeah, a lot of bracelets. Yeah, bracelets, a lot of uh some of them you'll just see them wearing like a rumor on their body. <laughs> yeah. A lot of them they look like they're styled by Jeremy Piven. <laughs> yeah, very avant-garde. A lot of bracelets. Very avant-garde, dude. What do we got going on here today, man? Gang gang, bro. We've got some people waiting to talk to us. Uh do we want to talk to some people on Zoom? I want to talk to Chin. It's only been 120 episodes to try and get into a conversation with it is him. I know nothing about Chin. Is this 120? Today's 120. Wow. wow. That's God a damn, damn, 120? Since day one, too. That's a bunch. And 20. That's crazy. And it's once a week? We've been doing this 120 weeks? I don't, it sounds like a, a shit ton. It's 52 weeks in a year? It's four years, isn't it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a little too over two and a quarter years. Two a little and a half. Over two and a quarter years. Dude. There's a little too much cream in your fucking coffee there, huh? Playboy. That's you. You know how I know you like dick? Huh. How much cream you have in your coffee, man. Dude, I don't like no dick, boy. <laughs> you think I like dick, dog? I'll tell you, if I saw somebody else's dick, dude, I would be shocked. You think? Yeah, man. You think I'm seeing somebody's dick? You're crazy, dog. You ever been a lot? You don't get in that jujitsu locker room after moaning all goddamn Dude, practice. I don't want to go play a game for two hours to have an excuse to go look at men's at night. Yeah, that's fair. Or daytime. Because a lot of kickers are like that. Yeah, I it's usually been, the kickers, dog. I could have been a kicker. I could have been a fucking uh, probably good referee. I think. No, you look like a long snapper. You do. You do. My friend Cam Canada is a long snapper in the league for Pittsburgh. Yeah. Oh damn! How good of a friend? I hate when people say friend. How good of a friend are we talking about here, mm, buddy? Thank you for being honest. I hate it when people say that too. Yeah. Like Chin's a buddy. Huh? Hey I've known, man. I've known Chin for seven but years. But Asian, you can't, it's hard to get to friend with Asian because they it's such a limited you don't get a lot of and this is the only reason I would ever beat an Asian. And I'm gonna be real honest right. and we're going to Just to get a reaction out of them? To get some information yes. out of them. Mm. Yes. Well what if they don't speak English? That's all right. They speak English, dude. <laughs> If you beat them enough, no, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll roll the streets. Sorry, that's too much. I'll roll I'll roll the streets and bring a translator. 
Dude, I'll drop them off at a VFW and let those old boys beat them up. You know what yeah. I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying? Let Nick's grandfather beat them up, dude. <laughs> I'll drop them off at an American Legion. Nick looks like he saw his shadow, too. I do want to say that, bro. Hey, Nick, yeah. Nick, were you on a bender all night, dude? Uh, Why do you look like this? I don't know. I don't know, actually. You it's, just woke up that way? <laughs> it's a really it's a really bad length of my beard right now. Uh, no, you look real pale, yeah, too. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You I, weren't doing I, stuff like last he night? He might die, dude. He looks like, like he should host a show called Between Two Urns. <laughs> <laughs> It does not look. You look like, like you. Live you look long. like you passed out in a lake and then walked into fucking work. I'm so glad this camera's black and white. You can't tell. Oh, yeah. oh no, it'll pick it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it ain't it that high. Like Jason Voorhees' younger brother, kind of right now. And no offense, Nick, you look like a handsome guy. You got beautiful blue eyes, but. He um yeah you just look like you definitely slept in the dryer. I, I caught I caught myself as I left the bathroom. I'm like I'm about to go on camera. That's crazy. But. He's like hopefully hopefully they don't notice. Yeah, I wouldn't even go on drawing. Yeah. Right looking like that. Yeah, I wouldn't even have Stevie Weeby draw you, man. Right now, man. Yeah. I put it up on my wall. Yo, I love that Hall of Fame art, man. That's that before picture. Yeah, Nick Nick looks like he's been zooming with his dad all night. <laughs> we were hashing some stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> we have issues to work through, man. Yeah, yeah that's dog. crazy, man. Uh, so does this guy, though. Look and at this. Is Tristan? What's his name? Oh, wow. oh, wow. What's up, you little sugar hookers? <laughs> yeah. Interesting it for you. Well, he's about to die, Brendan. At hair. home tattoos. <laughs> gang, gang. About to get that Rat King right now. And one himself too. Did he did that himself? Wow. Brendan. You're going on my butt. Oh. That's an honor. Huh? That's an honor. Because ah, when them boys are pounding it out, they're going to see my face. Oh. It's going to be dope. Yeah, you just did it. That means advertise. You're talking about gay stuff. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, and I'm getting my uh, sleeve on my leg done. Nothing hurts more than your leg with tattoos. Really? Oh, dude. I can take some. I've been through some shit in my life. Fighting grown men in a steel cage in my underwear, that hurts. Getting a tattoo on your leg, fucking hurts man. really oh i'm thinking about doing some drugs in austin when i get it done i heard a little zanny helps out a little zanny why are you licking your lips because I, <laughs> I can't wait dog. you're scaring everybody sorry here. man i'm, so, I'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry man yeah. um that guy does he have the wrecking tattoo yeah that was his leg that's yeah, a dope ass that's when you know you made it dog that's incredible man um First of all, thanks for getting the tattoo. That's a good good one, too. That thing's dope. Yeah, that's nice looking. I would get that tattoo. Yeah, thanks for getting the tattoo. And yeah, make sure uh, make sure you keep it clean. Oh, here's Andrew Santino. He's probably complaining about... Here's Andrew Santino. What do you do, babies? What's up, playboy? What's up, dog? Oh, not too much. How's it going? How's it going? Well, well, hanging in there, man. He was driving, too. Where are you yeah. driving to, brother? Some you going to work, work or what? Some people got to work. Amen, Daddy. What type of um uh field are you in? Are you you do what type of stuff? Land or something? Uh, plumbing, plumbing company. Okay, plumbing company. underland. <laughs> yeah, yeah, laying that pipe. You know what I mean? Yo, underground arts. Yeah. You know, where are you calling him from, Doug? Uh, San Antonio, Texas. Oh, oh love yeah, San Antonio. Dude. yes, sir. Hotel Emma, baby. That's my shit. We tried to come see you, Brendan, but uh got canceled a few times because of covid I know, and then you yep. got covid yeah i got so, covid but yep. i think i got into all good Antonio. though oh yeah, yeah. i Brent heard a real hotbed for disease <laughs> um yeah i ate a couple of sleazy churros yeah that's... you ain't lying brother yeah that's definitely... you ain't lying. i see churros i look at churros like theo looks at cocaine i see it i will fucking snort the fuck out of a churro yeah thankfully churros come in that line bro that's how i like them <laughs> yes. but i hate it when the churros yeah when the churros you can't get them broken up oh i hate that oh, that works. or when they're too stiff oh yeah i like that soft churro yeah sure i mean do, guy yeah, nobody yeah. believes Either way, however you like your churro that's how you like your churro man yeah, Brennan likes I Brennan likes to Brennan likes to chew his churro up and then take it out of his mouth and try to remake it on his plate. <laughs> 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 nah, and he nah, calls nah. them Brennan's churros. More like the kind of guy, <laughs> Brennan's more like the kind of guy who doesn't take the wrapper off a stick of butter before eating it as a snack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> True that, man. <laughs> I'll eat the like, show hey, that hey, wax Brendan, paper. Butter is not a candy bar. We're okay. I wish it was, man. What do you got for us, brother? 
Oh, uh, what I got for you is I got a what if you debate died in a car club right for now? you. Which one would y'all rather do? Would y'all rather party with them country boys at the ranch or ranch rager? Or would you hang out? Would you rather hang out with the real OGs in an inner city strip club? Ooh, we talking like Magic City in Atlanta and like T.I.'s there, drugging bitches and stuff? Or, and then the ranch, are we talking More like... More like Chappelle's dad's there. Oh, okay. Ooh, Kevin? You, oh, the, oh, no, oh, yeah, you talking about that big big Kev, big Ferg? Look, and that let's also recognize, Kev, yeah. the guy also tries to play real hard. His name is also Kevin. It's Kevin. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? Now, now let's also, let's just put it down to the nit and gritty here. What he's asking was, you rather party Ooh. with black guys or white guys? <laughs> okay. That's what's going on here. And that's fine. Um... I think mine, it would just be, I would go, like, I think the strip club is just such an unsafe environment, I feel like. You gay! It's such a pink eye. I just don't want to risk pink eye. You know how I know you're gay? How? You're scared of strip clubs. <laughs> oh, dude, I just think it's disgusting. Their asses are in your face, and they're rubbing their big tits. It's just too much for me, man. I'd rather hang out with the boys on the ranch. <laughs> yeah, dude. The ranch, first of all, the ranch has some nice chicks, dude. Ranch dressing. Who loves ranch dressing? Bitches, dog. That's right. Yeah, you right, dog. Oh, yeah. All right, I agree with that. Saying first, I dude. Old yeah. fucking Condiment Johnson over here <laughs> loves his way around a fucking half a tub of Zatziki as well, okay? You know what I'm saying? Deals, that Greek de ranch. Deals the only guy in a strip club with an N95 mask on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's got some uh, b-hole lipstick on the outside of it, that's for sure, I promise you. Look, dude, and the only reason I'm wearing the mask is to keep me from doing cocaine. That's the only reason. All right? Looking like Hannibal you Lecter in the club. The strip yeah. club cocaine. You yeah. cannot trust the strip club cocaine. Man, I, I yeah, the, they both have their uh, advantages. I think the strip club, man, it gets lit, dude. It's so fun. If it's the right one, it's the right environment. No, it's not. Somebody, you and Plaxico your homies Bur are there? Well, how about this? Plaxico Burris is there. And he shoots you in the arm? I don't know if he's got a gun on him or not, but if oh, he does, he does. It's risky. <laughs> he does. Yeah. He once tipped a girl the with a fucking. The only person Plaxico shooting is himself. So yeah, but still, it's so close. There. It's close proximity. I think uh, I'm going to stay on the ranch this week, man. I might go to the strip club next week, but I'm going to stay on the ranch. Oh, I, I do love strip clubs, but the ranch is probably funner, especially if you're like cow tipping, you and your boys, you run in the field. Oh, that sounds gay, dude. I'm talking about talking to some chick. No, some you're not. Ranch no, you're chicks. not. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> ranch girls. Hey. Hey, girl. What you doing out here on the ranch, girl? Like the girls on Hey, Dude? <laughs> yeah, like the girls on Hey, Dude, bro. Mallory. <laughs> okay. Are you are you a big uh, strip club guy? Um, You know, I'm a, I am do like to uh, indulge in a little boobies and whatnot. No, but, he doesn't. Uh, he says boobies, he does not. I feel like it'd be a sin if I didn't say a ranch with the boys, but... Yeah, I feel you. A little urban strip club seems nice. I'll probably go with the strip club. I just think it's risque. I'm not going on uh, Derek Chauvin conviction night, though. That's for sure. <laughs> no. So I think if you don't... Yeah, maybe a couple weeks after that, I'll go. Well, I would go, but I'm probably going to give some lap dances out just to show them <laughs> yeah, my respect. Yeah. <laughs> B BLM, baby, Black Lives Matter, Amen dog. To <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> you got to get out there. And there's the title of the episode. Well, look, Jim, thanks for being uh, a part of our universe, man. And we appreciate it, bro. Yeah, I appreciate y'all, man. Thanks for everything. Take care, brother. And the best out. I really appreciate it. All right, gang, Thanks, bro. man. Later. Huh, that's a good question. What would you do, Meat Hawk or whatever that kid's name is? What the fuck is that boy's name? <laughs> hey, Christian. You down? You, you thinking about the ranch? You trying to go to that urban nightclub and shake, shake some asses? Uh, I'm going to be completely honest. Yeah, I've please do, guys. We don't have a ton club. of time. Okay? So I'd probably have to say, I'd have to say the ranch. You've never been to a strip club? <laughs> nah. Hold on. Why were you going to be completely I... honest about it? Are you going to fuck it? What were you going to do? Guys, I'm going to be completely honest with you, man, here. <laughs> he's yeah. embarrassed. Yeah, I mean, oh. every, oh. every time I say it, people have the reaction like you. Look, oh, you've never been to a strip club? No, that, like was just Theo. Murdered someone, that was apparently. Theo. That was Theo. That's Theo judging you. I went to Elevens in Miami during this whole pandemic, dude, <laughs> and it was it's dang it's it's great in there, but it's also dangerous. There's a lot of Middle Easterners, a lot of uh, hookers, rented hookers type of thing. It's just, it's getting a little dicey in there. A lot of size. You know that little thing that you see one of the tur Ninja Turtles have, the third or fourth one? Oh, no you, oh, you're talking about the one with three blades? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody had that in there. 
Was so she it, hot though? Huh? It wasn't a woman. It was a man. That oh had it. no, I don't want That's that. That's the thing I'm afraid of. I'm not afraid of the women's. I'm afraid of the man's at the place, dude. You paying too much attention. I'm not to trying these to get shot because I'm not trying to die. Well, dude, enjoy the tits and ass, and forget about the men. <laughs> it's for hard a, for one night. Forget about the men's. It's dog. hard. I'm not thinking about the men's. I don't man. like men's anymore. <laughs> So what do you say, uh, ham, ham, <laughs> ham child? Jesus, how to figure it out? <laughs> Dude, here's the plan with Christian. We're going to get you on a big stack of steroids. We'll do it. And you a told him club. you haven't gotten him anything. What'd you say? We're going to get you on a stack of steroids so you get really juicy, and then we're going to get you in a, a strip club. All right. I'm, like I said, I'm down. Maybe but, clear it with your brother, Gianni. No, no, no. I don't want it clear with Gianni. What I would like is you to actually follow through and do it, Brendan. You promised the freaking kid HGH. Look at him. No, I, no, I'm, no, I don't want him to take HGH. Didn't Brendan say it? Not HGH. I want him on some real Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'm, Gold's Gym steroids. Oh, I'll get him on We're a freaking, talking Winnie. Yeah, We're that, talking about the shit you used to do on the side of the road with your boy. That pancake, Give me on that winstrel. Yes, yeah, talking yeah, Decca. Yeah, yeah. Especially Winnie. since you pronounce it like you're from fucking Mother England. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have oh, some Winstrel, Winstrel Pop. <laughs> I'll have a glass of Winstrel, Mom. The hits literally keep on coming from one boxing event to the next. They grow in excitement and anticipation. And that's something about excitement and anticipation. They're really buddies, and they, they, they travel together a lot. And this weekend is no different. Two of the sport's most respected fighters stepping into the ring. That's right. There's no better place to get in on all of that action than with DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top-rated sportsbook app. For this weekend's fight, DraftKings is offering all new users a shot at turning $1 into $55. That's right. To celebrate this weekend's huge event, DraftKings Sportsbook is offering new users the opportunity to get 55 to 1 odds on either main event fighter to win this weekend's fight. Download the top-rated DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use code KATS when you sign up. For a limited time, all new users can bet $1 to win $55. On this weekend's main event. That's right. DraftKings Sportsbook is going all out for new users. By offering them the chance to win $55 when they placing a bet of $1 this weekend's big fight. Must be 21 or older. New Jersey, Indianapolis, and PA only. New customers only. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook. For details, gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Or in Indiana, 1-800-9-WITH-IT. Look, with HelloFresh, you get it. You get the box. It has the different items. It has the deal in there. You want the cabbage. You want the lettuce wraps, baby. You want that donkey crunch meat. You get it all, baby. They got it all. It's quality, effective meats, cheeses, sausages, vegetables. You know, it does it all because it wants to do it all. And that's why. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips. Yep. You can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or less. HelloFresh has a wide variety of easy, delicious options for all three meals a day, plus every snack and special treat in between. Yep. Get better value. HelloFresh is 28% cheaper than shopping at your local grocery store and 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal without sacrificing the quality. Simply go to HelloFresh.com slash 12King and use code 12King for 12 free meals, including free shipping. What are you waiting for? That's right. Go to HelloFresh.com slash the number one, the number two, K-I-N-G, and use code 12King for 12 free meals, including free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. What's up, girl? How you doing? Hey. Yeah, how you doing? Oh, damn. What's Hi, up, good. boo? Sorry. Sorry, I'm at work, but I'm good. Oh, oh damn. You look like you're about to get fired. I own it. It's fine. Oh, damn. You look like you're about to fire yourself. <laughs> I should. <laughs> what, what do you do for work? Brandon, um, I woman. own a barbecue restaurant in Purvis, Mississippi. Oh. Yeah, Petunias. Oh. Rip a little. <laughs> and you, you own that place. I do. Me and my mom are co-owners, and I stay here, and I run it every day, and it's pretty awesome. How, now, how, how are them baby back ribs? I always judge a barbecue place off their ribs, not their brisket. They're good. They are, are they, very good. 
Now, what kind of, what kind of sauce is we talking here, Mama? We talk, you got spicy, you got that sweet barbecue. So I'm working on it right now. Uh, we just opened a month ago, and I have a regular sauce, just homemade, sweet and tangy, and then I have um, kind of a spicy sauce in the works, um, but I'm not putting it out till it's perfect. So oh, hopefully yeah. soon I can get that out. All right. Amen. Now, what about that? Some people go that vinegar type of sauce route. Do you guys do anything like that? That clear sauce, water looking? So it's almost no, a yellow. We do more of like a Texas yeah, uh, yeah. top style, not so much like a North Carolina or anything with like more vinegary, mustardy. Yeah, I don't like the vinegar. I love that petunias barbecue. And it also looks like you have some type of a dessert item or a fries or something. Yeah, I have uh, their funnel cake fries. So they're kind of, they taste more to me like a, Fit like a skinny beignet, but they're like Ooh. a funnel cake, but in the shape of a fry with uh, powdered sugar on My mouth is So wild. you got it. I'm going to give you a name for them right now. You got them thin yays going on. Thin yays. Thin yays. I love it. And you I should it. I probably use it. I think it would help. So. But here's what I'm yeah. going to say is this, dude. Uh, I'll come over there and get a cut of pig off of you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm talking about, boo. Yeah, I'll take a slab myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and who's single that works over there overall? Um, nobody, I don't think. That's all right. I like it. I like professional women. <laughs> um, hey, I like to hire women. We work hard. Hey, yeah, man, I'm true. tired of these lazy-ass men out here. Me too, man. Stealing hey. everything, taking all your money to the strip clubs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Facts, honey. So facts. is this a barbecue joint ran by all women? Um, so me and my mom are owners of it. And then I have uh, a lady running the kitchen. It was, she's actually my stepsister. Her name's Shay. Um, okay. She kicks ass and I will make sure she's happy and stays for forever. And then my girl Taylor, she is helps me run it and helps me keep my brain straight because the three brain cells I have left don't really do too much sometimes when there's 50 people lined up. Yeah, that, yeah. that barbecue would do it. <laughs> that barbecue will do it. Yeah. yeah. We uh, Our first day, we sold out in 35 minutes. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, girl. Yeah, we had no idea people were going to be so excited for it. And it's just a little it's just a little shack, kind of. Oh, smoke yeah. Smoke shack. Um, that little smoke yeah. shack, huh? Y'all ain't got any of that little ribbon. Oh, damn, oh, look at damn. that. Yeah, I'm trying. Right Excuse next to that crack propane window, tank, but... that place will blow up. I love it. <laughs> now, y'all got any of that ribbit ribbit out there? Y'all selling any frog or any of that rabbit? No, I got brisket, pulled pork, uh, smoked wings, and ribs on the weekends. Okay, praise God. Ooh. All right, mm -hmm. and what can we do for you today? Now, uh, I wish we were closer. I'd come eat. Uh, yeah, I'd go there right after this. Hey, we're not far from New Orleans if you take a quick trip. How far of a drive is Nashville to New Orleans? I'm not going to get in this conversation. This is a boring conversation, but I'll tell both of you guys, and no offense to you. No, she kind of started it. Yeah. But no, and also <laughs> no offense to you. I am curious how long that is, though. It's an eight hour. It's about an eight hour. Oh, eight my hours. God. Just yeah. fly, you Seven cheap and a half hours. <laughs> I'm flying, God. Oh, yeah. If, yeah, he's going to stop by and eat all your shit if it's free. I'll tell you that right no, now. That's not me. I'll pay <laughs> for your food. Hey, pay for. Pay for a brisket plate, and I'll give you a shirt. How about that? Ooh, Ooh. now you got a reason to go. Now, I will, mm -hmm. in Theo's defense, he did give felons a few hundred dollars. <laughs> How about this? We'll buy a couple shirts and wear them on an episode. Can we do that? Absolutely. I'll ship them to you. Gang, there we go. Well, look, what mm -hmm. do you got, a king it or sting it or what today for us? Are you just, is this a drunk dial? What is this? <laughs> no, I sent an Instagram message about king or sting with redheads. We get a bad rap sometimes. But... Mm. Just a thought. Look, you can bad wrap me up in that little freaking water, in that water spout. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that coot. Yeah, take it easy, buddy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm sorry. My, sorry, I need to, help. I've, also, yeah. Yeah. I haven't even been doing well, and I know you guys are all married over and Don't there, worry. So. I'll tell his sponsor about this conversation. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Probably don't feel too bad. He called this fat guy fat kid the other day, so we're he doing all right. Cool with it, I talk. Yeah, yeah he, oh, fine. he's cool with it? <laughs> Uh, can you see it? Redhead. I'm not doing well. Well, we, we, we got a local redhead who's causing some issues. His name's Santino. So that's that's kind of the only sample size we have. Do you know any other redheads? I'll tell you this. I knew a redhead when I first was barely alive, even probably nine. And she was awesome. And I don't see a lot of redheaded men. I don't think it's four men, honestly. But that's fair. We got, yeah, that's we have a buddy in our circle kind of who's kind of a creep and he, he has it. But has you don't it. see a lot of people afflicted with it and they discontinued it even at the sperm bank. But I like it on right, a woman. Probably. I like it on a woman and I think. Uh, I think it's unique. That little touch of strawberry. I, I dig it. 
Fire on the head, fire in the heart. That's what they say. That's fair. You know? Is there a lot of I redheads think, where I, you're at? No, not really. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's one other one that I see in town. Oh, cut lady, that bitch up, man. Y'all yeah. should fucking have... There can Get only be one. and have it out. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, there can only be one. Let's go. Yeah. You got to yeah, serve I up a little bit like, of that redhead one day. Yeah, turn, know, turn, one those here, but. turn one of those baby back ribs in the shank and take her ass out. Be the only one. Yeah. Hey, it's, if it's a customer, they're more than welcome. Amen. Anybody's there we go. Well, we'll mm -hmm. look, when we get close to Petunias and Purvis, Mississippi, we'll get over there. And uh, thanks awesome. for calling in. Yeah, I like redheads. I hope you guys stay alive. Me too. Oh, thank you. I know the two percent. We, we're staying strong. But Ooh. fight strong. Beat up somebody. You know, take out another color. Hey. Oh well. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, a lot of these platinum blondes are they ain't shit. Yeah, a lot of these Karens thoughting out there. Go hey, and it's real. Everybody asks if it's real. It is real. Oh, they haven't yeah. seen it. That's Ain't, why. Who, I mean, who's dyed their hair? People. Some people say it's fool's gold or whatever coming out of your head. That's a lot. No, that looks real from here, girl. Yeah. Oh, you vaping on the job too? All right. What flavors? What flavor is that vape? Blue ice. It's a. It's a. I don't know. Strawberry lemonade, oh, berry yeah. something. Oh, okay. Just a little nicotine to keep the day going. I oh, feel yeah, you. yeah, yeah. I feel you. All right, take care of yourself, lady. All right, thanks, y'all. Send me the address. All right, bye. All right, thank thank you. you. Bye, thanks, y'all. You came in hot, huh? I did. Yeah. You think so? Uh, a little bit. Dude, look, I've been. I've never been to Purvis, Mississippi, but I've been to Purvis, Mississippi, man. Ooh, another redhead. Hey. What's How up, you girl? Hear me? You guys I'm in doing Britain? Good. Where are you guys? Um, I'm at San Antonio, Texas. Oh, Ooh, another San Antonio okay. in the house. A lot of Texas today. What's okay. going on, girl? What's cracking over there, huh? Y'all over there at the Alamo, huh? <laughs> the DIY yeah, border that's... house. Let's do it. I guess that's what we're known for, right? <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm just kind of chilling on my lunch break at work. Oh, nice. From work. What, um, yeah. and what, um, what else, Brendan? Uh, what, 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 what are you taking a break from? What do you do for work? I do web design. Oh, yeah, like a spider. So all that coding, <laughs> coding lingo. Oh yeah, it's like a spy. Check out the big brain on Brad. Yeah. What do you got for us, girl? Uh, I have. Yeah, I got a debate club for y'all. Um, Please. I'm polyamorous. I've uh, been poly for a little while now, oh, and okay. I'm just kind of loving it. Uh, get into openly date whoever I want, be in relationships, maybe not be in relationships, you know, just living how I want to live. Um, but the debate club would be polyamory slash non-monogamy versus monogamy. So polyamorous, that means you're into guys, girls, whatever. Um, it's more so just that you're not monogamous in your relationships. Oh, thank you for clarifying that for yeah, my thank friend. You. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Um, I think it's, a, I think it's, I mean, sounds lonely. It sounds oh, quite the opposite, Brendan. Oh, yeah. really? Quite the opposite. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, quite the opposite, get, Brendan. I mean, you get to to be with as many people as as you want to be with. That's kind of yeah, Brendan, the appeal there. It's about love, man. It's about like the nineteen seventies and about being in love. You freak. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it a popular trend? I feel like it is, especially with the younger crowd. Um, yeah, I'd say it's definitely more popular with younger people than older people. Now, what, like, what, what's, what's the downside to being polyamorous? Um, if you had to give us one. It's a good question, actually. Yeah, that is a good question. The only thing I can think of is that a lot of people don't really fully understand it. Right. So, like, sometimes they'll think, like, oh, like, I'm polyamorous until I find someone that I want to be monogamous with. But that's, like, not... Oh, so you're saying goal. once you go poly, you got to stay poly. Well, I mean, there's a there's a saying like my poly is not your poly. So like poly is pretty much different for every single person that does it. Like there's not really one single definition oh. if so, you want to. So what Brendan's polyamorous when it comes to different colored macaroons. I know that. Yeah. I, I've seen <laughs> I like guy. them all, daddy. Yeah, I've seen this guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I make macaroons. Really? Yeah. So, so what? So for, for you. So like right now, how many people are you, are you seeing? 
So I have one person that I'd consider like a partner, but then I'm dating also a couple. And then I'm, I have another male that's like a more like friends with benefits situation. Okay. And I have a female who's like friends Jeez. with benefits situation. Okay. Nice. Dang. Is that, it sounds like a lot of work though. Polly sounds like work. Love is infinite, but time is finite, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to get your little chubby pussy out there brendan God, dog, you're hot today. so what i want to tell you is well, we're I, proud of you and yeah, good you can you. do whatever you want you know what i'm saying <laughs> somebody's got to keep things hot around town and then some of us are polly in the closet <laughs> <laughs> no polly yeah. want a cracker no. come on out dog <laughs> polly want yeah, to cock her the community, that's it man the only thing I like is women, and that's it. If I see a hey, man, nobody believe in that, dude. Does. If I see a hey, naked man, I would call and only the police. Like women. What'd you say? You can be poly and only like women. Thank you very much, and that's me. You gotta share that ass with the world. Bro. Ooh, yeah, there you, you go. It. There you go. There's, I mean, there's your new fucking counselor, hey, dog. Look, I like it. <laughs> look, I'm just happy to be alive, and I'm glad you're alive, and I'm glad that you're able to date other people. I think if you can handle it, I think at some point it just seems like. I don't want to get cornered into a space where like you're like you go to get drinks from the bar or something and you and you you turn around and you got like your boyfriend's over there and then your <laughs> husband's over there and then your you know your son who you're dating also is over there and you don't know where to what table to take the drinks back to yeah. you know you got to buy 19 drinks yeah, yeah. you're going broke buying a round for yeah. the boys I don't want to need a van just to date yeah. you know like that that's the only thing that sounds a little Yeah, bit I don't crazy. waste money on Uber Plus just to get it done, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to uh yeah, I, I think uh I think that's the only thing would be the um the too much having too much going on. But if you can handle it, more power to you. I can. I'm not built for that life. Yeah. No. If you got that, yeah. I think if you can get out there and you got that shop vac pussy, get it out there and do work. You feel me? And no offense. <laughs> no offense. But, a, but but a little offense. No, <laughs> Sorry. But a little offense. You gotta be, you also, gotta be careful nowadays, though. That's my nickname for Brendan, also shop vac pussy. So uh, it is what it is. I've actually never heard that term, but okay. <laughs> so a little offense for sure. Sorry. Stay sorry. with the offense. I yeah. didn't check the name with him first, so <laughs> I should have. Um, but look, I think yeah, you gotta love. I think put as much love as you can out there, but don't just miss. Don't miss out on an opportunity to strap something good down when you got something good. You yeah, know, yeah, strap it on. Yeah. Good. So. Good luck, though. Yeah, more power to you, girl. We support it. All right, thanks, guys. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, keep ganging it and buzzing it. Yeah, gang, gang, buzz, 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 girl. Wow. Huh? <laughs> Who could, I mean, it's just a lot of work, man. It's redhead fever out here today, dude. There's so many redheads. It's redhead summer. We got a lot of redhead fans. Dude, I got some white boy summer merch. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. From Chet Hanks? Yeah. Sick. I think it's at home. I didn't look, but I think it is. Did you purchase it or did you like reach out? Purchased it. That's awesome. <laughs> Black Queen summer. Yeah, those were sold out, I think. Or I didn't get any. <laughs> I'm uh, not sure which one it was. Could you guys do the polyamorous thing, Chin? Hell no. Nick? Uh, no, I'd be too jealous. Yeah, same here. I'd be too jealous. Chuck State could do it. or what? Sorry, whatever. Meat <laughs> Hall. <laughs> you can't do it either? I, I'd do it, but I wouldn't let my girl do it. Oh, God, well. Damn, dude. So what you're talking about you're about, is a, you're talking a about, sex slave. <laughs> yeah, so you're, talking you're talking about cheating on your girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I could cheat on her as long as she does it. <laughs> yeah, I, that's the hard part, man. I think I, I, I think it'd be stressful, and that has to be lonely at some point. I mean, how I, long are you gonna do this shit for? Well, how long you do this for? At least until I'm 41. But what I'm saying is, I've been polyamorous for a long time. I think if it's just dating people, that's what, yeah. It sounds like she just dates people. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she has a bunch, and she's open to guys and girls. Did she say? Oh yeah, she said guys and girls. So yeah. I'm just open to girls and other girls. But here's a guy right here. Here's a freaking rat king. What's up, Playboy? You want to tickle that nickel? Tyler from Washington State here. Got a quick king or sting it. Got that rat king. Tyler, right now sting those crocs. The vermin oh. with the sermon. King or sting it. Yard games like cornhole. You're going to king it or you're going to sting it. It's about 70 degrees in Washington right now, which I know for California ain't shit. But for us, this is warm. It's king and her sting it. Yard games like cornhole. Oh, I thought he was going to throw it behind. I was throwing it behind. 
no look Steph Curry style, dog. Now in Washington, you, I, I think they got rid of cornhole. I, I don't think they can even play cornhole anymore. <sighs> Would that man ask? Oh, cornhole for men? <laughs> <laughs> yard games in general. First of all, yard games, and I'll be honest with you, is a gateway to homosexuality, dog. It can be. Yeah. Get, hey, let's get play few, right here. Get a f- few beers deep you start winning you're a boy start hugging yeah oh i can't believe you made that shot and next <laughs> yeah. you know, your shirts are off yeah. dude like, who skins yeah, we're all dude, skins yeah, everybody's skins. <laughs> <laughs> and there's your episode title name we're all skins <laughs> bro that is your you start doing front side piggybacks that's when it gets scary when somebody's like piggyback but on the front yeah or when you're doing wheel oh. or or when you're doing wheelbarrow i'm in the room but they haven't passed me. What's up, dog? <laughs> Wheelbarrows when the uh that's that Rick show you guys call it on Chan. <laughs> that guy was with his dad. Show us your dad again. Yeah, get your dad back oh, out. Oh, you here, wanna dude. see my dad again? Yeah, Damn, he's see doing pull ups in hey, the dad. doorway. What's up, Pop? Pop's right here. <laughs> <laughs> he just walked in the door. Hey, welcome home, Dad. His dad looks like he's used the N word a few times. <laughs> 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 Yeah. And he's laughing too hard. Yeah, yeah. Man. bro, mate. I, I mean, I can't believe Marty back on. I was on the Patreon one just the other day. What's oh, going on, dog? Oh, oh yeah, oh. welcome back. Yeah, it was the the floss. Yeah, I remember, <laughs> dude. Yeah, because you looked like so I thought you looked like that killer guy, the um the murder, guy that yeah. killed those people in his apartment. Remember that movie, The American Psycho? American Psycho. Oh, cool. Yeah, he's a good looking dude. <laughs> cool. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. He's all, oh, hell like yeah. That words than that. I thought, yeah. That's Christian Bale. <laughs> What's going on yeah, today, I'll take man? That. Do what? The, yeah, like Christian Bale from Christian Bale to Hay Bale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, hey, how do, you, how do you feel about wheel bearing with the boys? <laughs> wheel bearing with the boys? Is that a, like a like a double meaning or something or what? Nah, yeah. you just take your boy by the ankles and then you, you fucking oh. raise him up and he walks on his hands. Yeah. Remember that game that yeah, they used, used to have? Yeah, we used to do that workout in, in middle school football. We used to do that. Yeah, it was great, yeah. right? That was I'm a fun time. Texas, so. Did you guys ever do field day at school? Did you ever have oh. something called field day? Dog. What the oh, blue are. ribbons. All day long. Yeah. All day. I remember that? Oh, nothing better. And one of the games was just throw something as far as you can. I remember that game. <laughs> yeah, we had like this black ball. girl in our school. She was like 35 years old, right? She was in our class. She threw a stapler like 120 yards, dude. Wow. And she won. <laughs> I went to pre- predominantly black school, so when we do the sprint, it was tough, man. <laughs> it was tough. But when you do that the is sprite, tough. I did not. it was easy, <laughs> I bet, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I got some blue ribbons. I got I got a closet full of blue ribbons. My nephew actually just did a field day. He got a bunch of blue rib- ribbons. He's white too. So, hey man, bro, that's what I'm talking about. Matthew yeah. Bowling, let's go. <laughs> Damn, they still do field Yo. day. That's Texas, man. Matthew Bowling's in Texas, I think. Doesn't he mm-hmm. go to UT or no? Where do you go? Who the fuck's Matthew Bowling? I'm, I'm yeah. honestly not sure. Matthew Bowling. I'm not, I, yeah, I, I have no he? idea. <laughs> Matthew Bowling is the. Is that the, is that the, the kid white that... kid that's beating everybody? Oh, the wrestler? No. Oh, yeah. The runner. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Georgia Bulldog. Oh, he went to he's a Georgia oh, Bulldog. Oh, yeah, he's and he's on the Olympic team, right? Yeah. He's doing the Lord's work. Yeah, he's doing he's the Lord's crazy work. Crazy fast. Yeah, I believe fuck it the first yeah, he's time fast. I saw the video. Yeah, Matthew Bowling, man, legend, bro. Legend. Yeah. What's going on today, brother? What you got? King of the Sting in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a I got a debate club. I was working and I saw that uh on Patreon it pop up for us to ask a question or whatever. So I did it and they just sent me a link. So uh yeah, so I got a debate club I was just thinking of. And Brendan, you have a kid, so you probably I don't know, probably have a, an opinion on this more than us, but what about that hee haw seesaw versus that swing set? Ooh. That swinging baby. Which one? Yeah, I love a nice swing set. The problem with that seesaw, it's all about injuries these days. Mm. So as a parent, you always gotta you always kinda gotta, you know, you're stressed out depending on the injury. Those seesaws, you don't listen, oh, okay. there ain't many seesaws in LA, man. Mm-hmm. I, I think they got rid of them. Yeah, there's a lot of virtual really? seesaw. Yeah, there's virtual ones here <laughs> where you're you and your kid the kids stand like ten feet apart and imagine that they're on a seesaw. It's a bummer. <laughs> Now, swings are still pretty lit, though. There's swings everywhere. Yeah. And there's like... Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, swings are... There's like a closet on the... A lot of the playgrounds, there's a closet on it, and the kid can practice coming out of the closet out here in Los Angeles. 
Yeah, they actually encourage. I feel the seesaw is like a bully. Like people can use it to bully. Have you ever seen that in cartoons? Yeah, they can seesaw up and down on somebody. Yes. on their head. Yeah. They would do that a lot. Yeah, yeah a lot of times cool. they would. Um, yeah, kid was a little too aggressive. They somebody would really pounce it up, get you up there and threaten yeah. you. Fuck yeah, make you throw your lunch money down. They used to do that sometimes <laughs> to get out of there. Remember the one? Mm-hmm. Uh, not the Mary Go Rambo was like that. It was like the the thing, and someone would run and spin it around. Remember his metal? Oh Angus yeah, as fuck. Yeah, that shit's all dangerous. People always die out there, but you got to thin the herd. Some people can't handle the heat. Now, I was on a swing set the other day. I took a date to a uh, like a park, and <laughs> then we got on the swings, man. Wow. What are you, 14? Did you, did you start sweating when you held her hand? <laughs> was it midnight? Was it park hours? Or yeah. It was park hours. This is daytime hours, dude. Did you guys share a Capri Sun? Yeah. Son? <laughs> That's a cute idea. I like it. We had a thank you, Nick. It was a nice idea. <laughs> Nick slept in a park last night. That's why he's okay with this. Okay. Nick, Nick fucking... so how big are those swings? You don't have to like maybe put them together, lay down them like a hammock. I'm sick of this anti-homeless architecture they're putting everywhere. It's hard to get a good night's rest. Yeah. So yeah, we had a nice time, man. The scary part was when you get so fast on that swing, you get that feeling in your stomach when you go back. I like a roller what coaster. That was like, oh. and then if you start going too high, it starts going ching, yeah, ching. It gets scary. Oh yeah, you're trying to go all the way around. Yeah, when you're a kid. You're trying to go all the. Way. It never happened. It never happened for me. At I like I, I, I was the kid that, that would wait till it goes real high and I'd jump off. Oh yeah, like, that mi- kid like was Mission insane. Impossible. Oh, yeah. I was that kid. That kid was always insane. The high ankle sprain. Yeah, I yeah. blew out yeah. a few ankles. No, I used man. to do that too. Yeah, I was too heavy to be doing mm-hmm. that. But you would get so high, you're looking <laughs> straight up at the sky. Yes. Thought you was going to be in like a space or something. That was fun. You break your arm, you go from a swing to a swing. Oh, Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Very popular, man. Yeah, I vote swing set, man. I'm swing set. Now, on your date, did you get behind your girl and push her? <laughs> um, No, I did not thought about it. The hell is too high. <laughs> Slow down. I thought about it. And then if you really want to get into it, you push her and you run underneath <laughs> so she really flies. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, Brendan. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, you got to be careful. Date. Make sure you clear it because they'll come back on you. Yep. Yeah. If you don't, well, you don't run out far enough. Well, well, yeah, I didn't get into all that. You guys are freaking pretty romantic, I see. <laughs> okay. Well, look, let's get out of this conversation before Brendan tells another story about Crow Cop, okay? <laughs> so, okay. All right. Thanks, Zach. Be good, all Zach. Right. Take care, brother. Later, Thanks. brother. Wow, seemed like a nice guy, and he said he works where he does lawn care. I don't know what he was doing. His dad made a little cameo. <laughs> yeah, his dad definitely uh, seemed like a nice man. Huh? Yeah, he did. Kitchen man. Dad's usually in the kitchen. The dad's chilling. Dad's in the kitchen, man. What else you got, Nick? Uh, we got another guy coming in. Uh, just had to restart Zoom. He got kicked And these out. are all felons? No. These are just people. Oh, my God. I thought these were felons that, again. Yeah. Well, no, if they were, you'd been giving out money. That's true. <laughs> hey, you felon. Yeah, Here's the good money. The good upstanding citizen, he buys a couple t shirts. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Huh? God, that's horrible. I felt so bad about all that felon money I gave out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, you're a felon? We're going to give you $600. <laughs> <laughs> But see how easy, like, what? see how easy it is for an administration to give away. It's just like you just have to do it. Just I know like you that. just gotta do it. What if we just said, "Hey, we're gonna think about it for seven months and then send you twelve hundred dollars"? Yeah, and it might show up in your bank account. We'll see. Yeah, I know. We'll see. It's so crazy. And I want to let you know that I have uh, some tour dates as well. Uh, they go on sale tomorrow morning, uh, Friday, May seventh at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And those are at theovon.com slash tour. Thank you in advance for your support. Uh, Those are in St. Louis, Cincinnati, Charlotte, Durham, North Carolina, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Knoxville, Wilmington, Delaware, Wilkes-Barre, PA, Minneapolis, Charleston, Richmond, Baltimore, Albany, Buffalo, and Columbus, Ohio. So uh, theovon.com slash tour to check those out. This summer, I'm, con- I'm considering going to Hot Springs, Arkansas, and I'm not even sure why, but I am considering that. And I want to let you know that if you're considering going somewhere sunny, Baruda, Hawaii, Miami, 
then what you need to do is get a pair of Raycon wireless earbuds in your ears to make all the difference. Sometimes you want to put your own sound to match the beautiful environment you're at. Whether you're in Istanbul or Croatia or Sacramento. Sometimes you want to match the beauty of the world with your own sounds. Raycon can help you. You get crisp, powerful beats at half the price of other premium auto brands. Raycons look great and feel even better. God, it feels good going in your ear. They come in a range of cool colors with customizable gel tips included for a comfortable in-ear fit. That's right. Listen up. Raycon's offering 15% off all their products right now. So that's all their products, not one product. That's many products. For our listeners, and here's what you got to do to get it. Go to buyraycon.com slash K-A-T-S. That's B-U-Y-R-A-Y-C-O-N dot com slash K-A-T-S. There, you'll get 15% off your entire Raycon order. And it's such a good deal. You'll want to grab a pair and, and a spare. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash cats. Buyraycon.com slash cats. You know, recently I got uh, a new car. I got a car. It's not new, actually. I got a used truck. So I didn't get a new car at all. But I got a used truck. And what I'm trying to tell you about is damn Edmonds, dude. Damn Edmonds. Edmonds, it's called, not damn Edmonds. Edmonds has been taking the stress out of the entire car shopping process for over 50 years. At Edmonds, they know cars. At Edmonds, you can get reviews, appraisals, see millions of listings, and run a price checker. Know that what you're spending is what you should be spending, or what you're going to offer is what you should be going to offer. That's right. Edmunds gives you the resources for every part of the process, whether you're buying or selling both ways. Every year, Edmunds editors drive more than 500,000 miles and conduct over a thousand hours of testing on hundreds of new vehicles. Whether you're just browsing or know exactly what car you want, Edmunds is the place to go. Get expert reviews, accurate pricing, free appraisals, millions of listings, and more. Simply visit Edmunds.com and click the Car Reviews tab at the top of the page to start researching vehicle reviews and rankings. That's Edmunds.com. For cars, there's Edmunds. Oh, yeah. Little, You're married, little, Brendan. Little ladies today. I'm not married. Yeah, but you take girls All right, guys. Days. I'm a little tired, so forgive the... But I've got a King Edder sting up for you. Peg leg crutches. Mm. Theo posted something about those scooters that are supposed to be a substitute for crutches. But crutches suck. The scooters suck. Peg leg crutches are where it's at. So take a look at my photo and tell me. King it or sting it. Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, young lady. What's a peg leg? You're going to see. She got that slim limb, baby. Oh. oh. No flex. It's like no. that. Uh, what's his name? The protrusion guy? The guy who murdered his fine ass girlfriend oh yeah Pertraria. yeah that guy shot his lady in the tub huh yeah he did thought it was a fucking thief Wait, dude no. what who who thinks a thief is coming in your house and then taking a bath oh god figure it out dude <laughs> and then she was like no it's me and he still shot at the door <laughs> yeah. but he said that she went no it's me yeah he's like well she has a deep voice <laughs> she was bad she was hot too she was hot man yeah the old yeah it makes zoom in on that limb baby yeah, I wish we knew what she did. Let me see that limb, Daddy. I feel like it'd be a nightmare, dude. Just zoom in on walking it. Around like do a that fucking, Z, do that. Walking around like a pirate ship. Look at that limb, baby. Damn, that thing's nice. Yeah. You, you looking, you liking that knee? Dude, I'll put that thing in my damn, in my mouth, boy. <laughs> you suck that kneecap? Huh? No, no, I'll put the whole fucking leg in my mouth. Ooh. Turns out there's a limit of the amount of women we can have on here. Theo's out of control today. Am I? <laughs> yeah, you a pervert, dog. Oh, my bad. I, mean, I need we a knew massage. This, but you need a massage? I need a massage. Oh, you can go to that little Thai kid again? Jump on your back? Yeah. Bike is his name. Is that a better move than the scooter that you posted? The scooter thing is unbelievably aggravating, dude. That little thing, it looks like a little, like they just push it around on wheels. Like I mean, the people at uh, Disney World? Yeah, you get your knee on a thing and then you push it on the wheels. Yeah. Uh. It's. I feel like our, it, that thing looks stupid too, though. <laughs> that thing's that pogo stick. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, that's a fucking pogo stick. How about you just do the old school crutches, man? 
That thing is a, uh, what is that? That's that pirate, huh? That's that winch bent. <laughs> yeah, I think, what do you think, Meat, Meter? Yeah, Meat Boy, what is his name? Meat Hawk? <laughs> what do you think, man? What would you Meter's do? Meter's a good name. You look... Oh, was it a king of singing? Uh, I'd king it. Okay. And would you Just date a woman right like this? There. Would you date a woman that's handicapped like this? Uh, do I know her before she, it happens or am I with her when it happens? Nah, you meet her and she has one leg, dog. No, you're with her and you couldn't protect her. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, because it didn't happen to me, so why not? Yeah. Oh, wow. You made it about and, you. Uh, and if, even if it happened before, then it depends, honestly. Like, if it's a bird, uh, like, I don't know. Like, it honestly depends on the person. Dude, if she's hot enough, I can give off. Yeah, fuck. that's what I'm saying. One yeah. Leg, yeah, you guys do. Yeah, you guys. I know both of you guys, actually. I just she, realized that. What about you? Huh? Would you? Yeah, I'd put this lady in a damn castle. Okay? Not like you assholes. Maybe I'd take her to lunch. <laughs> You're talking about taking her to a park with one leg. I don't think she'd do well at the park. Yeah, dog. you know how relaxing it would be for her to be on the swings and to be off of her leg? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not going to have that seesaw. But she got that Tom Dempsey, dude. Look up Tom Dempsey real quick. She got that Tom Dempsey dog. She's swinging that damn 63 yarder right there, baby. You feel me? Pull up your I'd boy. I'd like to know what injury she has. Though. Pull up your boy, Tom Dempsey, son. She got that TD right there. Boom. Is that right that there. kicker? Let's go. That is a thick fucking kicker. She got kicker, that dude. Tom Dempsey. She's running on, dude. She's shooting three from deep. He even was missing part of his hand. Look at his hand in that picture. He only got oh, yeah. part of a hand and part of a foot. Dude. Damn, he passed away last year. He kicked a 63-yarder? He kicked a 63-yarder. He had the NFL record for about 40 years. To my boy Jason Elam said, hold my fucking hand and kick the shit out of it. Yeah, him. it's easy to say that when you have two hands, okay? Fair, Tom fair. had one freaking <laughs> hand. Yeah. And he had a five iron for a foot, bro. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, that's an advantage. And dog. he'll put that thing through your mother's freaking bus stop. Damn, dude. look at that club. That's what I'm talking about. So look, I say king it, man. De what is it? Deaf people? Yeah. Yeah, I say I Peg say legs. Yeah, I say king it. If that's your thing and that's what's comfortable, fucking do it. Girl. But also decorate that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's Cinco de Mayo, put a little throw some streamers yeah, on. Yeah, get a little it. graffiti on that bitch. Yeah, do get some a little look. art on there, man. Yeah. Also, that. if you think about it, if you do date a girl with a peg leg, think about all the fire parking you're gonna have with that. Ooh. Do you front row at Costco? Front row, right out front. I mean, come on. Do you feel like Drake? Yeah. Yeah, you front will. Front of the line at the airport. Yeah. And then you carry your girl in like a freaking legend. Like uh, Tony, like, not Tony Dog, Robbins. I'm about to have Chappelle cut his fucking leg off. Yeah. So we get front row everywhere. Do it. Or Malik. Yeah, one of them would do it. Bro, you don't even need both of them. Yeah, you're right. Um, Or not both of them completely legged. No. At least get a sling for one of them. Someone needs to ditch a leg. Yeah. Oh, get an eye patch for Malik. Oh, that's a good idea. I could see that. We'll probably like bedazzle it and shit, whatever. It's a, it's a new fad, yeah. Yeah. What we got? What's up, brother? Can you see us? Hey, guys. What's up, dog? <laughs> What's up, Playboy? How are you guys? Chilling, big man. Big fans of the show. Big, very big fans. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, thanks for checking in with us, dude. What, um, what's, uh, where are you at today? Uh, I'm currently living in Dubai. Ooh, oh, dang. in the Middle East, yeah. And uh, my dad is Indian and my mom's from the Philippines, so I'm like a mixed race kid oh. over here. Oh, that's cool, man. And now is that frowned upon over there? No, no, it's completely normal. A lot of mixed race couples over here in the Middle East, a lot of expat community. So, like, everyone's like mingling with each other, trying to see which has like the hottest babies, you Ooh. know, oh. regular stuff. Is it yeah. tough to tell with <laughs> women out there because they're all covered up? They're like this? Oh, man, it'll surprise you. Everyone here is, like, wearing tank tops, booty shorts, everything. Oh, but just their faces it's not like, covered? It's not... No, no, no. They're like, those are, like, the local Emirati women. But uh, everyone else is, like, 90% of the UAE population is all expats. So, yeah, like, British, Asian, you name it, they're here. But I but I thought if you were a girl and you hung out with your tits, they cut your head off. But he, Brendan, he's telling you that's not that what happens. You keep asking him, and he keeps telling you. No, no. I understand Brendan's point of view as well. That that was there in the past, but now it's like it's very liberal now. Yeah, oh, you can do it like literally everything. in the nineties, dog. I heard Dubai is lit as fuck. I heard it's Vegas on steroids. Now, do you guys have this, young man? Do you guys have um the COVID there? Or no, people aren't worried about it. Oh, yeah, we, we have uh, a lot of cases, but it's actually subsided because we, the government has done a lot to bring in the vaccine. 
I just got my second dose yesterday as well. Oh, so. Ooh, how you boy. how you feeling, man? Two dose, Danny out here. Uh, <laughs> I, I was out completely yesterday, but today so much better. I managed to hit the gym, did all my regular stuff, but we're still working from home. Now, do you feel like um, is there? It seems like only rich people can be in Dubai. Is it like a real? Is it like a real rich kind of place? Like, is there is like, there a middle class? That's a good question. Uh, I'm in the middle class actually, but uh, there are a lot of rich folks over here. Like seeing a Lamborghini or Ferrari every day is just like whatever. Like, I know yeah. some people stop to take pictures and stuff, but for the majority of us, it's like whatever. That's just another car in the city. Yeah, but I think if you're middle class over there, that means you're high class in the states. Because I bet the middle class over there. Uh, probably yeah, I think you could say that. I think you could say that. But there's still like a lot of, um, like let's say Asian expats who come here and just like work in construction yeah uh, and all that so like they obviously don't get a lot of like big salaries or anything like that but but you have everything here from the low minimum wage class to the upper elite class over here that's cool man have you seen the serpent on netflix oh my god <laughs> uh no i can't say that no I no one has it's a good show things. if you like it, it no the guy is indian and um oh and he has to see it just asian an indian in it the guy's indian and asian and, but he's a crime. He does crime. He commits murder. Crime guy, yeah, crime guy. What do you oh, got? No, I'm, a, I'm a I'm a clean guy, guys. Okay. Yeah. What do you got for us, brother? Yeah, man. What do you have for us, dude? Tell us something good. Uh, so, like, since you're in the subject of you, like, you know, high middle class, my my job is actually my my question is actually about jobs. Mm -hmm. So I've been in my job for around eight years now. It's oh, a desk damn. job, and I completely hate it. And like, there's a point. There's a part of me which actually wants to quit my job right now. Quit. And like pursue my passion. Quit. Uh, and stuff. Fucking quit, dude. What is the passion? Simple as it? Yeah, good question. So, so I have a I have a podcast with my girlfriend, mm -hmm. and um, I am I also actually do stand up comedy here in Dubai. Fuck oh, yeah. wow. So it's quit. like it's like a it's like a mixture of both. But I that's the thing. You, it's easy for it's easier said than done, obviously. But then like it's not passion. Though. It's is, not though because you're what you, I'm. You're just at this job for uh, security, right? Because of the money and shit like that. But when you're fifty, you're gonna hate your fucking life, dude. And what? So you own a home and I already fucking, hate my life. I yeah, already, there you I, go. You're miserable. <laughs> you fucking hate your life. You're calling to us for advice. So you hate your fucking life, dude. Quit right now, man. Quit and see what happens. Cause what? What kind? Of, you do computer programming or some shit? What do you do? So I work in uh, logistics. So it's like I do basically sales, customer service. Yeah, there you like go. That. Yeah. That's that's never but gonna. It's, it's a dead like end game job battleship. Though. You play play battleship. Hell yeah. B twenty four. Hey, here's the thing, dude. That that job's never gonna go anywhere. Too. You can only find you can always find a job doing logistics. But if you to take advantage of doing stand up in Dubai or a podcast and blowing that thing up, doing what you want, man. Logistics ain't going anywhere. It's gonna be around for fucking ever, dude. Quit right now. Well, does your girl have a job? Yeah, she has a job. She's working as well. Okay. Fucking quit. And is she like? Does she? Would she be upset if just she were working? You think, or what do you think she would think? I, I I'm not too sure about that actually, but uh, I'm planning to propose to her very soon, so I think that might also be, okay. That's then, also in my mind, you know, like doing all that kind of stuff. So right. I don't know if it's like premature if I actually do it or yeah, yeah. quit or should after I like you maybe propose, wait man. a couple of months? Nah, I'd quit right now. You can't quit and then propose. Yeah, you can. That's in, that's 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 crazy. That's insane. Yeah, I'm, I, I think I, I you, just think you got to be a risk taker. What is the podcast about? Uh, so my girlfriend is half Lebanese, half Filipino. So Ooh, I bet she's uh, our podcast is called Half a Nice Day. So we just talk about anything and everything, like life as we know it, our experiences growing up, like as a, as a mixed race kid. All that what kind about of stuff. flips? Like, is that a racial slur? Is some flip, if if somebody says flips for Filipinos, is that a racial slur or not? No, 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 it's not. It's okay, not. good. I don't, I don't see it as it, as it is. Yeah. Hey, it, it, do you guys, do you guys have like protests and shit out there, like BLM protests and stuff, or is it kind of chill out there? Oh no, zero, zero. Dude, you can't say anything Christians negative about there, the dog. government. Yeah, it's a bunch of straight up sand Christians, dude. A but bunch of their government ain't gonna put up with it though. You try that shit out there, you go missing, son. Yeah, I think is the government pretty, pretty legit out there? Is it pretty stout? uh they're quite strict they're quite strict Super any strict. any naysayers about the government you can like i can go missing literally wow yeah. damn now that's a podcast yeah. i could go missing <laughs> and you just each week True you crying. test how much you can say each week you test how much you can say until on until you go missing yeah 
But I like half a nice day. Look, I think you got your girl dialed into the work. So at least if you do quit, she's like, she's a part of it. So she'll feel like maybe you guys are doing this thing together. Um, how, how old are you? Um, I just turned 30. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. It's I'm a Pisces gotta... brother as well. Oh, Ladies hell God, yeah, dude. dog. Welcome. Uh, yeah, dude. I mean, you're 30, man. So what are you going to wait till you're 40? You can start doing stand up when you're 40? He could be 30, 40, 31, 32. He could be any number the in 30 between. 30 is a good time to get going, dog. Yeah, I just don't you know. You don't want to be on yeah, your deathbed being like, oh, I clubs stayed. Here are I, like I, closed because of the pandemic. So there's no massive gathering. So I haven't done comedy in like around three, four months now. That oh, should open up. So all up, I have though. going for me is the podcast. Yeah, yeah that should open up. Yeah, though. I would wait until things are a little bit stronger before you cut bait with the job, man. You got to be working. You got to bring it in some type of income. Nick, what do you think? Yeah, uh, and I I think go a little bit more niche with your podcast. Uh, since people don't know who you are, it's hard to just like tune in and hear about just general life. Like, so talk about something, grow from there, and then expand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does he have any? So currently, we have around two hundred subscribers, but it's like growing every day. At least we see like one or two subscribers every day for now. Nice man. What language is it in? It's in English. It's hundred percent English. English, Nick. (laughs) Well, man. Uh. (laughs) Dang, I wish we had some advice for you. All right, man, I would quit and pursue the dream. That's what I would do. I'm a risk taker, though. If I also have CT, money, though. though. I also have CT, so. If he yeah. has rent money, quit. But if not. Nah, you'll figure I get. You'll figure it out. You're a smart kid, man. But you're going to be fucking miserable working this shitty desk job to your 40. I like being you're at the office. Stand-up. I like going to the office. Well, he fucking hates it, <laughs> He <man>. hates it. <laughs> they have people's birthdays, everything. Everybody's coming in the kitchen. No, you're working for the man. He's making all the profit. They give you this shit salary. Then they then exactly they, then they exactly, try to make Brendan, things cool you know it, and give you, know you fucking you know Hawaiian shirt Friday to keep morale up. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Quit, dog. Yeah, we have it Hawaiian yeah, shirt Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Brendan's. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll wear Hawaiian shirt where the fuck I want. Look at the way I'm dressed, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Good luck, though, my man. You're already on the right path. I got a feeling. Thank you're, you so much. Yeah, you're gonna figure Thank it so out. Much. Yeah, Brendan looks like a bat boy on yeah, Gianni it's, it's, Versace's it's softball team. <laughs> um, I, look, man, I think you're doing – look, it sounds like you got a good head on your shoulders. I would wait to quit your job until after you get married. That's the new white boy summer, you know? <laughs> That's when it's a white boy summer mm. forever, dude. Get that rock on your girl and get that blood, Diamond Dog. You close to the freaking – you know, to those artery miners over there. Get that freaking big B D Z on I, your lady. I, I would wait till things open up so you can start doing a bunch of open mics and shit. At least wait till it opens Got up. It. But as soon as that bitch opens up, I'd quit. And get that illegal rock, dog. You're so close to Africa over there. You could get that freaking... I mean, that thing should test positive. That, that thing should test B positive, dog. That 100%. diamond you get her. Yep. There he is. All right, okay, praise God, brother. Be good uh, out some there. some good advice from you guys. <laughs> yeah, good luck, man. Hopefully that helped. Yeah, I bet it didn't, but we Thanks, love man. you, brother. Gang, gang. If praise God, gang. gang, gang, baby. If, if it doesn't work out, don't blame me. Have a good life, man. Be good. Oh, okay. this, this guy uh, has got his killed somebody. This guy's stealing packages. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Chilling, man. You do you 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 do deliveries for Amazon? Uh, that's right, sir. Hey. I'm out here. You know, I'm the blue Santa Claus out here every day. Hell hey, yeah, man! man. I love them packages. That. Your mom does that? Yeah, my mom does that in Baton Rouge. If you see the Rat Queen out there, you know who it is. <laughs> What's going on, Sarah? Where are you? I'm out here. Where are you at Tucson? Uh, right now I'm out here in uh uh. Phoenix AZ. Oh, not my station's out in uh, Phoenix. I'm right now. I'm in Peoria, just uh, slinging these packages. Sweat. Oh yeah, out by Glendale, baby. I know where you at. Oh yeah. Yeah, I almost got I, my car broke down out there one time, and I almost got hit by a semi trailer when I was urinating in, in, in dark. You know what's real scary at night is if your car doesn't work and they can't to, see you to be out by the side of the interstate, uh, yeah. bro. It's harrowing. That's where a lot of people die. Oh, yep, because they can't see you. Oh, but anyway, man, uh, we're glad you're alive today, dude. <laughs> what you got, yeah, man? Married. You got a king at her singing? What's cracking? Yeah, I got a relationship advice. Oh, yeah. So um, I got a girlfriend, right? And uh, she doesn't really deal with touch all that well. So like if I hug her or that, she, she'll deal with it, but she's not really all about that. So how would y'all deal with that? Oh, a lot of our oh, friends have dealt with that. Yeah, um, dealing with that horn toe, Doug. That's what's happening. Oh, tell them, tell us, Brendan. Yeah, horn horn toes don't like get touched. Go in on them, be dropping on them. Yeah, you just got to keep giving her that love until she finally just breaks those walls down and realize you're a you 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 a touchy man. You know, <laughs> just keep fucking touching her, touching her every day, man. Now here's an idea too. 
Because that sounds like you're going to get an assault charge. <laughs> yeah, it does. As I was coming out of my <laughs> mouth, I thought, it's 2021, Brendan. <laughs> yeah, you can't touch a woman these days. No, I know. Here's what you do. You get a shirt. You do paint. Remember them paint hand prints, that turkey hand that a kid would make at school? Make that turkey hand, right? Make yeah, a yeah, shirt yeah. like that with a bunch of turkey hands on it. Give it to your lady. Say, look, I'm trying to make some moves, but I figure we start right here, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'll see. I'll, I'll give it a go. See if she deals with that uh, second grade art project. See if she like that. Yeah, sounds like a terrible idea. Uh, how long have you been? <laughs> how long have you been dating her? Uh, it's been uh, about like I want to say uh, about a year and a half. About. Oh yeah, bro, hit her with that arts and shafts, baby. I'm telling you, dude, that thing will lead to some <laughs> sex, dog. Yeah, more shaft than art. Though. Yeah, you know let's me? start with the art, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, not with Brendan's freaking reach around on yourself tactics over here. Dude, Brendan I'm sorry, I went to the Brian Callen School for Women. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan will draw t- Oh, damn. Your fucking best friend, bro. Is he under that bus over there? Bro, here's what I'm saying is. Brendan will, is also the kind of guy who will draw freaking tits on himself and fucking and touch himself. So Yeah, I will, man. You got to take care of it. I think you got to do something nice. Maybe get one of those. Get a fake, a prosthetic arm and set it on your girl's back. Or, or you could get one of those hot ass uh, dummies they have, you know, those like builder girls, and then just show her how much you like to touch. Yeah, like you won't do it, so yeah, I'm gonna I don't do think it on she's this. Gonna be my girlfriend for long if I keep doing that. Well, look. yeah, hey, listen, man, you gotta crack a few eggs and make an omelet, especially if you want to touch that omelet. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, bro. <laughs> now maybe it might be a childhood trauma where she doesn't like to be touched. Have you ever talked to her about that? It's a hundred percent that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. See, now maybe, we're on to something. Maybe get her a turtleneck or something, because that kind of it's like a little bit of pressure, but it's not heavy pressure. Yeah, it's like know? a shield. Yeah, dude. Like, maybe, maybe get a betterhelp.com promo code cat. Yeah, yeah. You could oh, also I get some cat smirk. I'll tell you this, man. A friend of mine told me this recently, this man. He said he had sexual educate no, he had ed- erectile dysfunction. And he was with his girl for like a year and a half, and finally it went away, he said. And that's it? Yeah, it went away. <laughs> Damn, I appreciate that story. Yeah, hopefully that helps, So man. What I'm saying is that it, it could change if you just give it time, man. But how much time is he going to give her? She doesn't want to be touched, man. My, my boy here is touchy feely. <laughs> Dog, it sounds like also, I want to throw this out there, you could have kidnapped this woman, bro. Yeah. Yeah, what if you're a freaking <laughs> sex offender, dog? Yeah, that's a good question, too. I He's mean, like, I man. I see her across the pe- uh, Denny's park line, kind of just picked her up and took her. But, you yeah, know, dude, she's, cool all, she's always trying to escape and shit yeah. from the basement, man. It's getting really annoying. Yeah, dude, yeah. <laughs> so, look, <laughs> if anything, tell her if she needs to escape, just promo code CATS, escape.com, <laughs> promo code CATS. <laughs> yeah, she keeps forgetting her. my name ain't, like, let me out, so. Yeah, yeah. that's tough, <laughs> man. <laughs> Well, look, man, good luck with her, dude. I think finding some cute way to show her that you want to apply a little bit of pressure, you know. Maybe put a rock on her back or something like that, just something light, you know. <laughs> Maybe just keep giving her massages every day, man. Start with a nice massage on the feet. <laughs> yeah, start with that neck work, Then fam. work it up, dog. Praise God, man. And stay <laughs> safe out there, bro. Yeah, good luck. I will, man. Man, I love y'all. Uh, y'all really do bite my day. Yeah, keep touching me, dog. Oh, thanks, Sergio. Keep touching me, baby. Be good. Your girl says don't touch me. I say <laughs> keep touching me. Yeah, get her a don't touch me shirt. <laughs> oh, well. That's not actually a bad idea <laughs> at all. That's a good idea. I can't believe it took us that long to get to a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that was a tough one to figure out. I didn't know if he kidnapped the girl or what. <laughs> yeah, very alarming, and I still don't even know. He might even work for Amazon, dude. We have no idea what Sergio is up to. <laughs> we never know. Here's Gianni right here. What's up, Gianni? <laughs> hey, what's up? Alex, hey, how Alex. you going, man? You in uh, you in uh, Britain? No. Oh hell, no, no, Orlando, Orlando, Florida. Close though. <laughs> oh, close, close. with the books your mom gave you. Oh. What do you got for us, Doug? Um, got a debate club real quick for y'all. Yeah, let um, us see it, baby. Hit hit us with that hammer, dude. Any questions gonna be tough for Brendan? Throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, watching a pay per view fight with friends or by yourself? Ooh, this is good, huh? This is good. Hashtag UFC 261 that Brendan used about a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I saw you on there at night, huh? No, I don't tweet. Oh, fucking loose thumbs. Pull up. Can we get to the tweet that he did? Was it the Holland fight where I said Holland's the most exciting fighter? I, I usually don't tweet during the fights. Oh. Never. 
you. Never. Oh, really? <laughs> say something, Chin. Just say something. <laughs> something. There you go. Chin, do you tweet during the fight? I have a Twitter. I don't think I've ever posted anything. Some of you guys do. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Chin hit his head. <laughs> Damn, Some bro. of you guys do. Get I, that's TKO. actually going to leave a mark, too. That hit hard. It's all good. It's all good. Let's, let's stick with Alex, man. I'm sorry. I'm taking this thing off course, dude. No, it was a while back. I shouldn't have brought it up. It was just a tweet. It was just a no, no audio or pictures or nothing. I mean, I'd say Kevin Holland's uh, one of the most entertaining fighters, but it wasn't like hashtag nothing. I'm not trying to make that UFC. Yeah, let's see that hashtag. Boys, boys, boys. 261? No. Yeah. Yeah, it just searched Brendan Schaub in UFC, hashtag UFC 261, and I didn't, nothing came up. No. Oh, there it is, right there. Oh. Right there. Oh. That is a Kevin Holland one. Yeah, that's Kevin Holland well, one. Well, well, well. Hashtag Vegas 22. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. That was after the fight, though. <laughs> oh, was it, Brendan? <laughs> was it? 9.25 p.m. <laughs> seems right about fight time. Yeah, that seems right seems about the about most right. entertaining. And in the blue corner. <laughs> well, Brendan. Hash Brown Shop. Hash Brown with that hash hashtag, Brown. baby. He's the most entertaining fighter. He loses one more. He ain't going to be too entertaining, man. Oh, uh, we'll see, man. You we'll guys should see. both try to get on this weekend. UFC 261. We'll have to hashtag it, man. They won't let me on. <laughs> yeah, they will. No. No. Really? You've just made too many. I talk too much shit. Yeah. Well, you and Steve O. No. It's, Who's more thirsty? <laughs> Steve does too many, dude. Uh, you're right there. Steve does way too you're many. You're right there, dude. No, it's Steve O, and then who else does too many, Nick? Uh, I like this guy, Jedi Goodman. He, he's he got, uh, he usually has like information that goes on there. Look at his. Wow. Dude, but he's a journalist. Yeah, but he gets on there all the time. I but he's a journalist. I mean, he's, he's, he has a media pass. Yeah. Yeah, he so should. They don't count. He should get on there. Yeah. It's Masvidal Usman, huh? Here come the hot step. Uh. So he's talking about, uh, I prefer pay-per-views with, uh, by myself, man. Yeah, let's get into that. My, uh, my issue is I get too many stupid questions all the time from friends and family. Oh, really? The worst. I like. It's like listening to the fucking podcast I did on Monday when I broke the fight down. Yeah. I'm like doing a podcast in the middle of the goddamn fight. Mm-hmm. It's exhausting. Look, I want to see Jake Paul versus Mike Perry is what I want to see. That's what uh, I said. You obviously listen to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I do listen. I, I, I listened to that episode, and I thought it was good, man. Thanks, man. And uh, I think that that's the guy to go fight. Me too. I think at least if you're going to fight, you just got to fight somebody who's willing to fucking who's willing, who can take some licks. He's young, though, man. He has three fights. That's the way fighting goes. You, you shouldn't be fighting killers your first three fights. Agreed. So Mike Perry, I feel like it would be... I feel like it would be much more... F- Mike Perry will throw some hands, though. And Mike Perry can take a shot, too. Right. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I don't think I, you're going to knock I, Mike Perry out. He could, but it'd be tough. But he should go Dylan Dennis, then Mike Perry. I think you find them both at the same time. He could. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let, let freedom ring, dog. Yeah, I mean, Trilla's probably up for it. Oh, Triller's definitely. I'm surprised somebody didn't get shot during that telecast. Oh, they will. That thing look <laughs> that thing nice. Look, that thing look ratchet as yeah, fuck. Yeah, dude. I'm like, is this on a jungle gym? Get some fucking lighting in there. Yeah, it was a nightmare. Unbelievably. It's, yeah, it reminded me of like the time that I got stuck at, at this nightclub in Jacksonville. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, What's going on, Alex Moody? How you going? Good man, how are you guys? We're doing well. Sorry for that. You sorry you had to listen to us. Uh, you have you have UFC parties, man. How you doing it? Yeah, how do you do it? I like doing. By my, I get too annoyed at at hearing other people's opinions about shit. Yeah, I, and I'm too. not a big drinker, so whenever I watch, I'll have a little bit of whiskey and Ooh. enjoy it by myself. Same, my girl same. Will be with me. Okay, you like that dime with, with you. Yep. You like that dime with you. Yep. Now, does your girl yeah. know about the fights, or do you squeeze her kind of hard when she asks some questions? <laughs> I, I gotta, yeah, I gotta let her know about it because she's not really too into it. So I gotta, cause I I do jujitsu and the uh, Muay Thai or whatever. So mm-hmm. I'll wrap her up in a little seatbelt or whatever once in a while. But Hell yeah, dog. She don't like it too much. Put her in that hard scarf, dog. If she knows what's good for, her, put her in that HS, dog. Sometimes you have to. 
<laughs> I'll choke that fucking bitch. No, I'm <laughs> That's what I'm saying, huh? Make a sound for us. Make a Japanese sound, Chen. <laughs> well, I mean, you can do a Japanese sound. We can do a Japanese sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying you got to freaking wrap up in that hard scarf, dude. America's favorite neckwear, baby. You feel me? Let's go. <laughs> I'm with you, though, man. Watch it by yourself in the dark. Yeah, man. I'm going to send you. Also, we got a new hard scarf t-shirt, man. I'm going to send you one of them, bro, so you can freaking wrap that. It's not even out yet. Appreciate it. So you could next time you at least you had advertising. If you guys have to go to court with you and your lady, at least you could show up with that shirt. Yeah, at least she knows what's up. Yeah, she knows what. She knows what she's getting into. Yeah, yeah. Are you still a white belt? Would you white? Well, well, yeah, I'm I'm a green belt now, but I started striking. I started boxing or whatever. But green belt, it's like it's white belt, same shit. Oh, gotcha. White belt. Yeah, about do the Naga thing. I was gonna make my amateur kickboxing debut last year, and then. About seven weeks before the fight, broke my arm in sparring. Oof. So, yeah, about to go make my debut in about two months or whatever. I'm going to do a little grappling tournament before and then. Oh, good yeah. luck, man. Yeah, good luck out there, dude. So what's uh, what's the king of their sting at? What do you got? Watching UFC with friends <laughs> or not, Doug? <laughs> oh, I like to watch it. You know, if it's a – I like to watch it by myself, I think, or just with like one or two people. I don't yeah. mind. Actually, we had fun whenever we went and watched it at Gianni's place that time. That was fun. That was if you fun. have the right crew, it's fun. There's good food. People know we're there to watch the fights, not do a fucking podcast and talk the whole time. Yeah, Johnny invited me one time to somebody's backyard somewhere, and it was, like, really questionable, dude. That <laughs> yeah. was kind of scary. But another time we watched it, like, in a fun spot. I watched the Chandler fight and the Dustin fight at, like, a bar. It was That was pretty fun. If it's it was, the like, right vibe, night. it's a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I'm with you, man. By myself, drinking a little whiskey with my girl. That's I like I watching them at home, you know. Nick and I watched that John Jones fight one time after that uh, cattle racing or whatever we went to. Remember downtown? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We went. Uh, we we saw PBR at the Stable Center, and then mm-hmm. we went across the street and saw John Jones. Was Volkov? No. Reyes. Reyes. Yeah, sounds like a gay night. I uh, <laughs> Pretty gay. I've been watching pretty gay. I've been watching in the green room by myself. Really? Yeah. Because oh. I get off late, so I just see like the last three fights. But yeah, man, uh, I don't know. I think it just depends, but I, I understand wanting to watch it by yourself. Sometimes people get so personal with the with the or, or attached so much to the sport, they really just want to be able to see it all and not be interrupted, you know? Uh, I mean, it's martial arts, you know, they say arts in it because it has, you know, this artistic side to it. But it's also like if if you want to see a dope ass movie, like say you rent a movie at home, I don't need everybody's fucking opinions on the guy's acting. I'm just trying to watch the goddamn movie, dude. Same with fighting. Unless you've been in there, even if you've been in there, shut the fuck up, man. Yeah. I don't want to see some drunk come over and ask me a bunch of questions either. That's the worst thing. Like talking about other stuff, like are somebody bugging you? Yeah. You know, somebody punches their girlfriend because they can't handle the f- excitement, all that kind of stuff. You yeah. know, I don't. that's a, too much confusion at a bar. Too Dude, much. Good, good food, a good fight at home. Nothing better, man. Yeah. And I like to watch indoors, too. Yep. Indoors only. Good question, brother. Have fun this weekend, man. Hopefully you're not around a bunch okay. of slap dicks. Oh, hell no. Hell no. I, can I ask one more question? One sure. quick one? Mm-hmm. Um, why do you guys, uh, do you guys not like, like or why is the uh, Florida comedy scene, scene bad? I'm born and raised in Orlando my whole life. And I'm, I just saw Brian Count at the improv a couple months ago. I'm just curious. Well, that's why. If- <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Brian Collins Great. extremely hilarious, and I'm just joking. And no, the Florida scene's actually pretty good. Like I was just in Naples last week. Uh, Tampa's dope. Orlando was good. They got Fort Lauderdale, Miami. There's a ton of spots there. The Palm Beach Improv, it's good. There's just I don't know what it is. It's, you know, it's just not like other cities. I don't I don't know why, man. Well, Florida's a state, first of all, and I want I don't want to challenge. No, I'm saying any. those cities. It's like some, like, especially Miami. There's like so much going on, but they're good crowds. Yeah, you, just, you guys just get a bad rap. Yeah, I think you, there's just so much it. going on in Florida. There's crime. There's pirates. Oh. There's uh, first forty eight. There's forty eight more murders. There's alligator. There's cocaine. It's baby at the Disney World. There's Disney World. There's Orlando. There's Universal Studios. There's just so much. You got going Tampa on. Bay Buccaneers. You got Tom Brady up the street. Yeah, some of my favorite comedians have come out of Florida though. Some great guys Daniel have come Tosh. out of Florida. Yep, Daniel Tosh, Eric Myers, R.I.P. Um, who else was out of? There's tons of guys out of Florida. Uh, Is there tons? Yeah, who's that uh, Latino guy? Uh, fluffy? No. No, not no. Fluffy. Um, fuck, I can't remember him. It's all good. Yeah. Daniel Tosh is from there, and he represents pretty hard. Yeah. 
So I think it's got a good scene. I think it, there's a lot of places that comedians can drive through, drive up and down that coast and hit spots. There's a ton of spots out there, man. Yeah. I think Orlando is just a weird place in general. It's almost like the Bermuda Triangle, but it's on the land, you know? It's, so, it's, it's such a diverse city. So it's mixed. It's bizarre. Race wars every fucking corner. Let's it's go. Intense, son. Ooh, Let's go. Fun. Stay strapped, dog. That's yep. all you can do, dude. Keep learning the martial arts, man. Yep, learn the martial arts, man. Good questions, though, brother. Appreciate it, man. Good luck with your tournament. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all you do. Thank yeah, you, praise, brother. Later, Be brother, good, man. I like that kid, man. Is that it, Dick? That's it. I feel bad. I ate some. I tried to bite part of my finger off. Oh, I bit off hurts. a big piece. Oh, that hurts. And you ripped the skin. Yeah, I don't know. My, my, it's the thing where I know in an hour it's going to hurt more. Me too. Fuck, and it makes me so mad, I know. Brendan. I hate, I, my nails are a nightmare. It makes me so mad. I bite them when I'm stressed. Do Look you? At my fucking What's nails. wrong with yours? Look oh, at them. Wow. Yeah, I don't have any nails. Oh. I know. My God. I know, dude. Those look like they were in You're my fire. thumb, dude. Oh. I know. Look it's what amazing. you do to him. <laughs> yeah, you stress me out, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, look what you just did to me. Ooh. This big piece. <laughs> And I needed this. Ah. This is that when you get into bread or something. Yeah. <laughs> we get into bread. I'm just like, how am I gonna like that Hawaiian bread you bite like <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, like I'm, when I'm going to rip open a croissant, I'm not yeah. going to have that freaking outside pressure. Get a little salt in there. Yeah, yeah oh. dude. Uh, I'm just not going to have the, I just can't get that angle. Good luck eating barbecue, daddy. Uh, at Petunia Pete's or whatever. Not good, man. Well, dude, that's that town it, had a population of 2,700 people. Yeah. Yeah, 2,400. Oh, yeah, Petunias. We didn't leave our Yelp review. Oh, she... Let's go there. She Let's said go she's to... going to send us some shirts, too. Yeah. We need to get your sizes after the show. We'll have to buy some. We'll start you off. Let's see if we can get some of the hormones that they got that those animals on, too, and get them into your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk. For the Yelp... Uh, yeah, I almost said Yelp review. For the Yelp review, what are you going to leave? Say uh, some of the best barbecue I've ever had. little chatty, though. <laughs> 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 we don't want... It's our first one. We won't leave... I don't think anything yeah. negative. Okay, you guys are lame. <laughs> yeah, I am pretty, pretty, pretty lame. I'll agree to that. But I would say... All uh, women's barbecue, man. That's the first of a kind. All women's barbecue. Let's see what these bitches want from a N-word. Like they say in that song. DMX. What these bitches want from What a, these bitches want from a, Yeah. And then we have to hush. Yep. I'm not eligible to sign up for you. Uh... Right. Yeah, well, maybe that's, after and that's a personal issue. That we're yeah. gonna, uh, <laughs> Nick can't even yelp anymore. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do it on my own time. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably best. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will. Yeah, doing time is something Nick's good at. <laughs> okay. That's it, man. Love seeing you, brother. Yeah, love seeing you too, man. Gang, gang, buzz, gang, buzz. gang, brothers. I'm in Lexington, Kentucky, May 6th through the 8th. And then Houston, Texas, May 20th through the 22nd. Get your tickets. Coming strong. And I'm going to be in, uh, it looks like I'm going to be, you can go to theovon.com slash tour. I'm going to be in North Carolina, Minnesota, Baltimore, and Buffalo. Um, there should be some new tour dates that are up. Uh, and that's it, man. That's it, man. Love you guys. Brennan and Theo, fighter and weight. I got to go in and go hard in the paint. I do not think I am in flow. Black Rifle Coffee, I'm ready to go. I need a sponsor. I am a monster. About to open up with this at my concerts. Flow is contagious. Browser outrageous. Thicker than girls that are Instagram famous. Damn, hungry like I'm fresh off keto. Seeing red like Andrew Santino. Every song I hit like the great Bambino. Brennan ate the queso and the queso Ritos. But everything's gonna be fine. Ay, hate on me, I do not mind. Ay, Theo looking like the type of dude that got a pack of matches in his pockets at all times yeah. They sliding into my DMs yeah. A couple of you try but couldn't beat them oh. Quit playing like Nintendo DS You don't want the smoke like Joey Diaz uh, Meaning y'all edible Just got my eyebrows threaded and I'm feeling incredible yeah. Brennan's son hit me up He said it's too loud in the club Can you pick me up? King and the sting